me show you how the cipher machine works. The idea is that you translate the text using a translation table for each letter of the alphabet. However, you do not use the same table for all letters of your message, but you switch between multiple tables. This makes it much more difficult to guess the encrypted text. And this is also why it's called a polyalphabetic cipher. So, say you want to encrypt the word test. First you put the machine into a defined starting state by turning these four little switches to the left. Then you insert the marble into the slot at the top and see where it emerges. For the first letter of the message, you use the table above the basket where the marble landed. So for the T in test, we would look up T in the white column here and see that it translates into Z. Then you repeat the thing for the next letter. You insert the marble again and it now lands in the second basket from the right. Thus we will use that table for the letter E. You look up E here and it translates into U. Again for the third letter. It's an S which translates into W. And for the last one, it emerges here and it's a T translates into X. Test will therefore translate to Z U W X. So for each letter of your message you do this over and over again, each time looking up the translation in the corresponding table until all letters are translated. If you want to decrypt a message, you basically do the same thing. You reset the machine by turning all the switches to the left side, then go through each letter as described. However, you will now look up the encrypted letters on the right hand column in red and take the translated decrypted letters from the white column. Now how does it work internally? Let me remove the cover. You see that the machine consists of four binary switches. Each can be in one of two states. Each time a marble moves across a switch, it flips from the right hand side to the left hand side and vice versa. So basically, this is a binary adding machine. And I saw the original design on woodgears.ca where they have a very beautiful binary adder made from wood. I can highly recommend it. So the cipher machine is basically the same thing and you could use it for adding binary numbers. However, I use it to switch between alphabets in a controlled sequence and keep track of, of these switches. This also means that the cipher machine uses the same alphabet for every second letter of your message because every second time the marble goes through the machine, it takes the rightmost path. So the cipher is not really very polyalphabetic, but it's good enough for short messages. If you want to have a much better cipher, you have to use electronics like the Enigma does or do a lot of mo more manual work. If you build this, I have to point out that it's very important to make sure that the switches move freely and work smoothly. If they get stuck, you will end up with the wrong encrypted text. So, I hope you enjoy the cryptograph. Have fun. Bye-bye.